What's going on everybody? Check it out. We're going live here in about 15 minutes. So click the like button, click that share button, spread the word. You know the drill. The more people that are here, the cooler the prizes are going to be. Make sure you're live and current with the stream. In the lower right hand corner of your video, you're going to see a button that says the word live. All you got to do is click it, make sure you're live, make sure you're current, and hang tight boys and girls. We're going live in just a short while. All right, boys and girls, I just put out a new poll question. You've got about 14 minutes to get your answers in. The question is, how much silver and gold are you looking to buy in 2019? You're going to do exclamation point, the word vote, and then the number one, two, or three for way more than you did last year, way less than you did last year, or probably about the same. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure you use exclamation point, the word vote, and then your number one, two, or three. Hang tight, boys and girls. We're going live in just a short while.
All right, boys and girls, we've got about five minutes before we go live. If you haven't already clicked that like button, make sure you do your best to try to break that damn thing. That's the goal for January 2019. We are going live in about five minutes. Spread the word, spread the love, because you know how I do. We're doing some giveaways. Two minutes to go, get your votes in, exclamation point, the word vote, and then the numbers one, two, or three. I want to know how much silver and gold you're planning on buying in 2019. Get your votes in, boys and girls, because we're about to do it. We're about to do it.
Boom. What's going on, everybody? Happy New Year. Happy, happy New Year. It is time. We are live. We are here. It is the 2nd of January. How is everybody doing? How is everybody doing? Let's clear up some of the screen here. We got the vote still going on. Make sure you get your votes in. We're going to use that exclamation point, the word vote, space, don't forget the space, and then the numbers one, two, or three. But happy New Year's, everybody. Today I've got a, uh, a different bit of a beer. This is a Snowdrift Vanilla Porter Leinenkugel, but as you can tell, it's a, it's a special thing. This is actually given to me. I'm going to be a groomsman in my sister's wedding, so that's going to be a blast. So that's what we're drinking today. What are y'all drinking if you're drinking with me? Sound off, let me know what you're drinking. I'm going to crack this open with this little lizard bottle opener we got here from Troy Ounce. Troy Ounce is in the house, asking everybody to keep him in his thoughts and prayers this year. This beer's for you, Mr. Troy Ounce. Ooh, that's a good one. That's a good one. All right, so I'm going to scroll through the chat real quick while we get caught up on the poll. We've got about a minute and a half left to go on the poll uh, but I saw earlier we got Silver Stanger in the house dropping down a $5 bill on the Super Chat. My man, making it happen. I appreciate that. Uh, looks like we got Devil Dog Dave in the house. Nicholas Andrews in the house. North Country Off Grid's in the house. We got the whole crew rolling down. I like it. I like it. Um, somebody asked in the chat, Alex Coinroll wanted to know, um, where do you guys think Silver is going to end up this year? It's slightly going up in the beginning of the year. Is that a sign of things to come? Some of you guys sounded off and said they're expecting, you know, $20 by the end of the year, $18, $19. And I agree with you guys. That's a great $20 is where I would love to see the year round off at. I'd like to see a solid $20 run on silver all year. I know, Troy. It was a joke, buddy. I know. Yeah, Adam, I saw. I got your message. Um, It's not just you, man. My eBay business is killing me right now because everything that I ship out through that is all delayed everything that i've shipped out for the month of december is heavily delayed i still have people that i sent christmas cards to the first week in december who never even got their cards so i hear you man it's frustrating for sure i'm sorry but i can assure you you will get it all right we got 30 seconds left in the poll johnny stacks wishing everybody a happy new year with the super chat my man thank you very much appreciating that love starting the year off strong here so it looks like as far as what you guys are planning on buying this year, um, you're staying about the same. Some some of you are going more than last year. And I'm curious, those of you that voted, that you're going to buy more than last year, wh- why? Why are you looking to pick up more this year? Is it Are you maybe new to silver and you just want to double down and, and get twice as much as you had last year? I'm curious to know why you guys are looking to buy more um, and not less. I mean, I myself am buying more. North Country wants to know what my eBay store is. North Country, it's a separate business. I try to keep that a little separate from this because um, it's a separate business. So it's irrelevant. I don't sell silver or anything on there. I have a vinyl printing uh, decal sticker t-shirt printing business thingy that I I do. And I sell some other knickknacks and stuff that I pick up at flea markets and whatnot. So, Yeah, Adam, I hear you, man. It's frustrating, dude. No, that's a thing, Silver Stanger. There's no snow here at all. Lots of rain. Tons of rain, but no snow. Jamie Coin Hunter, new to silver. You start it late. It's never too late, man. You're you're on, on par with the rest of the world if you're stacking. Scorp Music couldn't get his vote down. <laughs> it's all good, buddy. Johnny Stacks started last February, so you still got that silver fever. Well, hopefully it doesn't go, Johnny Stacks. If you saw my most recent video... Silver stacking is not a trend. Um, I mean, that's that's for that's for the legitsies. It's not a trend. Like, don't start stacking silver and then like stop in six months. That's silliness. You might as well just open up a savings account and get your fifty dollars free for opening up the savings account. You know what I mean? Uh, AG Attic needs a monkey spaz shirt. You can find that over on my Teespring uh, store, which I have set up. You can find that down in the description bar, the link for that. If you're looking for some monkey spaz gear, we got t-shirts, coffee mugs. If you're a chick and you want some leggings, we got all that sort of stuff. Evening, Jay Nuts. How are you, buddy? Uh, just another average stacker. In for four months. Got 20 years to go with it. Man, you're ahead of the game, bro. Trust me when I tell you, if you just started stacking silver this year, last year, last month, last week, trust me when I tell you, 
you're ahead of the curve because I don't care if you're 30, if you're 40, if you're 50, if you're 60 years old and you're just now starting to stack silver, I'm guessing you got grandkids you can pass it on to. So it's definitely a good investment. Those of you, I see a couple, uh, a few actually, people that just started stacking. I'm curious of you guys, why did you start stacking? What got you in to throwing down on some precious metals there? Ty Rothrock started last year in August looking to stack for retirement. Smart man, smart man. What got you into stacking, Ty? What got you into the silver world? Did you see a YouTube video and it tickled your fancy? My silver stack started in April. You're over 125 ounces. You wish you could have got more. Hey, man, it's like a snowball rolling down the, the mountain there. It keeps gathering, keeps gathering, keeps gathering, keeps gathering. And before you know it, man, you got yourself a mountain. You started rolling down the mountain, and then before you know it, you own the mountain. Coin collecting did. Okay, so you're a coin collector. Natural uh, moves on over to silver. So those of you that are new here, you might not know what I do here, how I roll things. I do a live show every single Wednesday, 7 o'clock Eastern. I also roll out some videos throughout the week. But the live shows is my chance to give back to y'all. This is where I get to throw down give you guys some cool prizes, play some fun little games, and I give away some fun stuff. So uh, by a show of hands, is anybody here not in the United States? Because I'd love to do something special for just of those outside of the US. It's very rare, but I just thought I'd ask. Corey W started last year, needed to diversify to do a tangible asset. It's a great hedge against the dollar, so that's one way to do it. Uh, silver Star started stacking in August, started buying small gold bars, and then noticed the silver one ounce coins and they were selling, and you haven't looked back. Silver Star, look at the silver to gold ratio and try to understand what that is. Those of you that are new to stacking silver, try to understand what this silver to gold ratio is and why that's important, and that may deter you from buying large amounts of gold right now. Um, I think the best buy is silver over gold. That's just my personal opinion. Do with it what you want, um, but that's just me. What's up, Jojo Baggins? Good to see you. Koa Bosk says, Mr. Zeke got you into stacking. That's awesome. Um, AG started stacking last year and had to sell off the stack, stacking smarter and stronger. See, that's, that's another point, AG Addict, to bring that up. Liquid savings. Silver stacking can be your liquid saving. So coins like this, my Perth Mint, I've got tons of these Lunar Coins, Series 1, Series 2. These are my Permastack coins. These are the coins that I don't really sell. When I buy them in rolls, I'll usually buy a few extras off to the side, and then those will be the ones that I sell. But the rolls I like to leave pretty much intact. Um, let's see, just started at 11, and I just thought it's a much better thing to spend my money on instead of candy. <laughs> yes, I agree. Jojo Baggins also follows me. Thank you. So we got one UK person in the hizzy. All right. Enough of me talking. Let's give away a little bit of a prize. So we have two games that we like to play here. Your ABCs and your 1-2-3s. If you don't know what they are, I'm not going to spoil the surprise and let you know. But each of those games is going to allot you three prizes to choose from. You're going to pick one of them, and I'm going to mail it straight out to your face holes. So anybody that wants to participate in this giveaway is going to unfortunately have to be in the U.S. Uh, because those of you that are out of the U.S., shipping is just insanity, which I'm sure you're already aware. Can't do it, can't do it, can't do it. So if you're in the U.S. and you want to participate in the ABCs or the 123s giveaway I'm doing right now, first thing you got to do, click that like button down below there. That's number one. The second thing you got to do, I'm going to give you a word to use in a sentence. Use that word in a sentence, and you're going to get the chance to win something really, really cool. So what's the word you're going to use in a sentence? Let's use the word party. Use the word party in a sentence. Don't just say the word party. Got to use it in a sentence. Have some fun with it. I'll give you guys about a minute to do that. After that point, I'm going to copy everybody's names, and we're going to do the damn thing. So good luck, everybody. Use that word party in a sentence, and let's get it done. I'm going to drink some beer while I wait. Troy Ounce says, I've always known that something's wrong with the dollar. Silver is a tried and true asset. Indeed, it is. North Country Off Grid is a party in his pants. Mike Beatty, the show is a party. I try, man. I try. Just another average silver stacker. Had another, had a wonderful time at a New Year's Eve party. I went to a party last night. I had a New Year's party. <laughs> 
I went for a party for New Year's, ended up sober riding and said, hey, man, that's a good thing, too. You got some people home safe, so that's good. Mark B. doesn't party anymore. Swift Sal, if he wins, he's going to party. Going to party like it's 1999. We are ready for the party, says Hootink. Jay Nuts wanted to go to the party, but he's lazy. But you showed up here, so I appreciate it. <laughs> AG Attic, no New Year's party for me. You're on daddy duty. I bet you had a party with the baby, cleaning them diapers and stuff. <laughs> Busted my ass sober after a party. So you fell down the steps sober? That's craziness. My girl likes to party all the time, party all the time, party all the time. Ants are partying in my pants. <laughs> oh, look at that little emoji icon. I didn't know that existed. A little ant. That's cool. All right, I've given everybody plenty of time to get their get their entries in. Now, you, those of you that aren't aware, sometimes, for whatever reason, YouTube doesn't seem to count everybody. And that's when I have to let everybody know that uh, we got to do it again. So let's bring up the giveaway screen, the random name picker. I'm going to switch on over to the browser so you guys can see what I'm seeing. Got everybody's name over here on the list. We're gonna randomize this list so everybody's mixed up fun-like. I'm gonna copy all these names. And then we're gonna come right back to our random name picker here, paste all the names in, and look down the list now. I want everybody to look down this list right here. Let me know if you don't see your name, because now's your chance to let me know. Miss North Country Off Grid's in the house. Good to see you. Mr. and Mrs. Holding Down the Fork. That's what's up. There's my name. Let me take me out of there. All right. So let's scroll through the list. Everybody let me know. Here we go. Who is not there? Who doesn't see their name? Let me know. We're going to go through it one more time. One more time. Let's see if anybody wants it. Anybody needs it. Last chance. Let me know. I didn't comment and you're from the UK, says Silver Star. No worries, Silver Star. What I'll do, Silver Star, since you were honest, if you do win, I'll send you something else anyway. How about that? That works, right? All right, I think we're good. The first one of the night always goes this well. Everybody gets in the first one. For some reason, the next one always misses some people. So we're good. Everybody's happy. We're going to spin the wheel. The winner's going to get to choose between their ABCs or their 1, 2, 3s. And let's just spin. Good luck, everybody. The first giveaway of the new year. Let's do the damn thing. Jack Tanson in the hizzy throwing down 199. But right now, focus is on Ty Rothrock. Think you're a newbie to the chat. Congratulations, Ty. What would you like to play? Your ABCs or your 1, 2, 3s? Let me know which game you want to play, and I will bring the game pieces to the screen. Jack Tanson, I appreciate it. Much love to you. That 22 is going to come and play. That 22 is coming in. Play! So you won, Ty. So Ty, all I need from you now, Ty, let me know if you want to play one, two, threes, or ABCs. Which one would you like to play? Ty Rothrock. So Ty wants to play the one, two, threes. All right, Ty. So in the 1-2-3 game, you've got yourself three envelopes here. Each of these envelopes contains a pretty nifty prize. Uh, all you got to do is pick one of these envelopes, and I'm going to open it up, ship whatever's into it straight to your face hole. So everybody help Ty out. Which envelope would you pick? And Ty, whenever you're ready, let me know which envelope you want, buddy. Silver Stanger says go with three. Jamie Coyne says go with three. David says go with two. Will says go with one. Troy says go with one. Silver Stack goes with two. Will took you two. Jack Tanson, three. One looks heavy says Nicholas. Off grid says seven. <laughs> All right, Ty, whenever you're ready, you let me know one, two, or three, which one you want to open up, buddy. Ty's going with two. He's going with two. 
All right, so you know how we do it. We're going to start with envelope number one and see what you would have won had you have selected envelope number one. All right, so inside envelope number one, ooh, we've got a Brazilian $500 note. But you didn't win envelope number one because you picked envelope number two. So let us find out what was in envelope number three. Envelope number three contained... Ooh, the golden hundo. The golden hundo. But unfortunately, you didn't win envelope number three. So let's find out what you did win, good sir. Ty Rothrock, you, sir, have won. Boom. Ooh, this is a nice piece of history right here. Now this, I don't know if you're into collecting currency, is a 1961 Soviet Union 3 ruble banknote. Now if I can get my camera to focus a little bit. Look at this piece of history right here. This is pretty cool. So this is a three, um, what is it, a three ruple from the Soviet Union. A nice piece of history. We're going to ship this straight out to your face. So all you got to do, my good man, my kind sir, is shoot me an email here at the end of the show. And I'll put my email address right in the chat for you. Shoot me an email at the end of the show because... You might end up winning more, and uh, we'll get this mailed out to you, buddy. So congratulations, Ty. Win yourself a piece of history. And today is the second. Awesome. To your face hole. All right, so now I want to swivel on over to an auction, see how y'all feeling about that auction, because a little bit later we're going to be giving away this prize pack that we started in December. Prize pack is consisting of a quarter ounce standing Liberty generic silver piece, 999 of that beautiful fine. It also consists of a one tenth ounce Nefertiti round, still sealed up in the original Atmex bag. It's going to contain yourself the gold hundo and a pocket scale brand new still sealed up in the box. So that's our prize pack we're going to be giving away. Um, the, the aim for that, boys and girls, is to hit 7,500 subscribers. And we're very close. If you take a look right there, December subscriber goal, we fell short. 7,332. So once we hit 7,500, we'll be busting out that prize pack and giving that away. So for now, who is up for a little auction action? Show of hands, auction action. Adam Farley wants the scale badly. Well, Adam, you got yourself a shot to win it. Uh. Woo! Excuse me. That was a that was a, a rough one. Jack Tanson to my face hole. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Yes, Johnny Stacks, and it'll get bigger. We'll add on to it as the the days and weeks go on. Hopefully, we we hit that goal. I really thought we were gonna hit 7,500 by the end of the month. We were so close. I really thought I was gonna do it. You need the goat. You need the goat. I was actually going to try to. Uh, we had some love for this guy last uh, the last live show, and I was holding off because I had to make some videos with it. But if you got any love for the colorized American Eagle, we can do one of these. This is dated 1999. So if anybody wants a colorized American Eagle, we can do that. Uh, what else we got? What else we got? We can do something small. You guys want to do like a Pamp Suisse 2.5 gram bar? We can do something like that. We can do... Let's see. Where is my box at? There we go. We've got... If you guys want a proof... American Eagle. This thing is so freaking shiny, it's ridiculous. I don't even know what the proof sell for in secondary markets. I want to say like 40 bucks ish. I don't know. But this thing here is gorgeous. Gorgeous. Thanks, Swift Sal. I appreciate it. Kooks. I don't have any kooks, man. I'm going to be getting the 2019, though, North Country. They'll be coming in soon. I'm getting a couple rolls of those bad boys. We've also got a generic. Walking Liberty. This is an SMI uh, Walking Liberty. Just a generic one ouncer. We can do that as well. So we've got a couple different Walking Liberties to pick from. We can do an ugly, beat up generic bar. We got a 
a 20 gram bar, which I probably am going to do another video on this before. AG Attic getting out of here. All right, buddy. Good luck. Or good, good luck getting them kids to bed. <laughs> Not in the colorized coins, but the ASC is nice. Which one? The uh, the proof? Yeah, that proof is sweet. I picked this up at the A&A uh, World's Fair of Money. This one here. Y'all can see me in the background? Let's see. Can y'all see me? Let's see. Try to wave to you. I don't know. Stop picking me up. Cortland Kelly didn't get an alert. Oh, no. Cortland Kelly missed away a giveaway. But we're about to pop off on an auction. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Um, where are we at? Who's got that David P? What do you say in 24? What's the 24 kind, sir? Um, we got to do... We could do a pig. Got some sealed... Uh, 2019 Perth Mint Pigs. It's a one ouncer there. I think we did the half ouncer on the last one. Uh, and then there's always generic sunshine rounds. You can always do those. Actually, you know what? I do have a kook. North Country. I'm sorry. I do got a kookaburro. Check this one out. This is a 2014. A 2014 kook. This is another one of those kookaburros that's got attitude. Look at his face. He's like, what, bitch? <laughs> like, look at this kook. I love these coins. The mermaid. Ah, oh, did I sell them all? I think I got rid of all my mermaids. Did you get the last one, North Miss North Country? I think you were in on the auction on that one. Johnny Sack says kook, too. All right, so we'll do... Well, I guess we'll do a kooky. We'll start the uh, 2014 kook. Here's how it works, boys and girls. We're going to switch to the auction screen. You're going to see an auction timer up here, which we may or may not use. Y'all tell me. Um, I don't know. It seems to shoot me in the foot with the delay time. But we can do the timer or we can just roll it down. Oh, that's right. You guys were on a delay last time, North Country. You guys were on a crazy-ass delay last time. You guys get that half ounce or did it reach you, North Country? Because I know everybody was having problems with their packages getting delivered. But all right, we can do the kookaburro. Somebody wants to start me off. Shipping will be free on one ounces. Shipping will be free. Let's fix this real quick. Boom, free shipping. All right. All right, so no, nobody wants to start off on the uh, kookaburro. So no kookaburro. All right, let's. You guys tell me. I mean, I'm, I'm going through here, and make sure you guys are all live and current by clicking that live button. All right, so are we bidding? Is that what we're doing? I guess we're behind. So I think we got 20, 19, 25 Detroit ounce, 25 Detroit ounce, 26 to North Country off grid. There we go. All right, so that's where we're at. Doing the Kookaburro, 2014 of that 999 super fine. Never been touched by human hands. This thing's been in the capsule, been in a, uh, what's it called, a tube forever. Finally came out to play. And tonight, right now, the high bidder is 28. Johnny Stacks looking to take home this Kookaburro. So we're looking for 29. Who wants and needs the Kookaburro? Because this is your chance, boys and girls. Look at the, look at the, come on, look at this branch here that the bird is sitting on. Look at the detail on just the branch. Goodness gracious me, oh my. $30 is the bid now. $30 is the bid to Daniel Norris looking for 31 on this super fine 999. 31 to Troy. 31 to Troy ounce. 31 to Troy ounce. Let me see here. 31 to Troy ounce. Looking for 32. Looking for 32. 32 is the bid. I love the Perth Mint tie. Perth Mint is probably my favorite all-around detail-oriented coin. When you look at their coins up close and you get hands-on with these, they do not skimp on the detail. Look at the tail feathers. I mean, look at the detail that they just put into the tail feathers of this kookaburro. Like, come on. Come on. So $30 or $31 is the high bid right now. We are looking for $32. Got that beautiful-looking queen on the backside if that tickles your fancy. Got that beautiful looking queen there. Does anybody know what the mintage is on this kookaburro? Anybody feel like looking that up? A 2014 kookaburro? 
It looks like we're going to drop down the hammer here in just a moment. So we've got 31 as a high bid, looking for 32, going once. $32, going once. Oh, what happened here? Screen switched. There we go. $32, going once. If you want it, now's your last chance. $32, going twice. If you're looking to steal it, now's a great time to get that 32 bid in. Because in about three seconds, it's going to be all through, all sold. Last chance, everybody. North Country, there is no timer. You said not to do one. You said that the lag screwed it up. So I'm giving North Country a fair shot here. <laughs> if you want it, uh, North Country, 32 is the high bid. I don't know if you're on another delay. Think you're walking away with it, Troy. You might be our big winner. Last chance, boys and girls. $32, last chance. I'm not sure if North Country's a stone of delay or what's going on there. All right. I tried to give you as fair chances. Plenty of time passed. Last chance. It is now sold. $31. Troy Ounce. Free shipping. You got it, buddy. 31 buckaroonies. We'll ship this 2014 kook straight out to your face. Going to hit you in the earlobe, man. Better watch your face. Put like a hockey mask on or something. Troy Ounce hawked it. All right, let me get you marked up. Add it onto my winner's list. You got that bad boy for a crisp 31. Very nice, very nice. Well, no, well 500,000 was the mintage uh, that they, they cap it off at score, but I don't know what they, uh, we might as well look it up now. I don't know what the ended mintage was of it. Because they always, they never hit the high amount, usually. Let's see. But did they actually mint 500,000 of them? I'm going to pull up. I'll show you guys what I'm looking at here. Let me switch to my browser. We're going to look at the Perth Mint. This is the release of all their coins. So let's see, 2014 Kookaburro. There was only 300, uh, 334,884 of those ones made. So, oh, that's a koala coin. Shit, my bad. But these are all koalas. Man. Hold on, hold on. Oh, it was sold out. Okay. Well, there we go. Done and done. Done and done. So while we're looking at Perth Mint stuff, let's take a quick look at the 2019 Perth Mint releases. These are what Perth Mint's going to be putting out there. Uh, let's see, a 40th anniversary alien bar. Holy crap moly Look at this, boys and girls. Wow. Wow. This is cool. Look at that 40th anniversary in space. Nobody can hear you scream. That's cool. And it's a coin, boys and girls. This is a coin that's got a $1 value on it. So this is definitely a cool piece. What the premium is going to be on that, who the hell knows. But that's a 40th anniversary of Aliens movie, and that's pretty cool. There's your price right here. Woo! Look at that price point, boys and girls. $74 for a one ounce. Man, did they just put a sticker on it? I think they just colorized it. I don't think it's a sticker so much as they colorized the actual bar. I mean, $74 for a one ounce? No, thank you. All right, so what's next on the, the docket there? We've got a Star Trek crew coin, a happy birthday coin, a newborn coin, Australian Opal Lunar coin. What's this? Oh, the Opal Lunar series. Looney Tunes coin, Love Struck coin, and a Barbie 60th anniversary coin. I can't imagine that Barbie coin is going to sell much. So this is a Lucky Cat coin. All right, Miss North Country, peace out. Have a good night, y'all. Is there another one on here? Let's see. Oh, here's the, the catalog. There we go. So let's see. Any of these tickling in? Oh, these are cool. Look at these. High relief. Very nice. Antique looking coin. What's the premium on this? Roman Legion Warfare coin. 
$127 for a freaking two ounce coin? Come on. Now look at this, 2,000 mintage and they're charging $127. That's, I can't do it. I don't know about you guys, I just can't do it. Can't spend the money on those kind of, those kind of coins. There's the Mickey Mouse through the age. I think it's the 50 year anniversary of Disney coming up. So they're gonna be having a lot of Disney and Mickey stuff coming out this year. Uh, 1935, this is actually kind of a cool looking coin. I'm sure the premium is not worth it. $71 here for a one ouncer. Not worth it, come on Perth Mint, what are you doing? What is going on? Yeah, I hear you Adam Farley, I'm right with you guys. We've seen this coin before, or not coin rather. I guess it uh, is a coin. Wow, this is neat, but two ounces, $170 for this. Very cool, not worth $170. I'm so sorry, so sorry. All right, enough of that. Enough of what's coming down the pipe for 2019 in the Perth Mint. Why don't we do another giveaway? It's 7.30. Y'all been hanging with me here. We do another giveaway. Or we got a little itchy finger for an auction. We can do another auction. We can do a half ounce. I think we got half ounces to sell. We got this uh, Eagle. I think we sold one of these a few weeks back. This is a half ounce uh, Eagle, Canadian Eagle coin. Focus a little bit. Got the queen on it, of course. We can auction off one of these cutesy pies. If anybody is interested, let me know. Try the Money Metals Exchange Silver Starter Set. Yeah, there's lots of those, Daniel. If you go through my playlist of uh, silver buying and stuff, I have a video outlining all the online dealers that do um, silver at spot deals. So check that video out, Daniel. That'll definitely be helpful. North Country wants the one ounce pig now to go with his uh, half ounce. Any love on the one ounce pig? Anybody feel like beating down North Country? ASC is your foundation. So here's, I don't know if you guys have seen my videos on this damn gold hundo. I don't know if you guys have seen my video on American Eagles. Um, they're great coins if you're looking for a coin that's like a coin and has government backing. That's why people buy American Eagles. But when you're talking about the premiums that go along with them, I don't think Eagles are the best buy out there. I honestly believe that a Perth Mint government coin would be the best buy as far as premiums because when a time comes to resell them, you're not reselling these American Eagles for like buku dollars, you know what I mean? You will sell a Perth Mint one ouncer for way more than what you bought it for. Perth Mints hold their premium. American Eagles just hold their value. The value and the premium are two different things. How many grams is in the gold hundo, man? I don't know. It's a uh, it's a gold foil bill, so who knows? It's novelty, novelty. Jackson M wants the pig. My silver stack wants a pig. All right, we we'll do the pig. Um, silver stanger. Now nah, the goat is uh, this one here is actually from my personal stack. The ones I got out here, these guys. I brought these out because 2019 is going to be a fun year for coins, and these are all the lunar coins that. I could get my hands on right now for the 2000 and uh, or it's not 2000 the, two, the second series second series all right so lunar pig where's my lunar pig at do I have a sealed one I think I still got the sealed one yeah so I've got a sealed lunar pig here and it's up to you I don't mind if you want the sealed one if you want the one that's out it doesn't matter they're all the same but I'm gonna for purposes so you guys can see it easier I'm gonna show you this one so we're gonna start another auction here on a one ounce 999 silver year of the pig coin. Free shipping if you're in the United States and we've got $10. <laughs> that is not a starting bid kind, sir. $1 is not a starting bid kind, sir. I believe silver spot price is at $15. So there we go. We've got a fair starting offer from just another average silver stacker, $15. And we've got 22 from North Country, 23 from Cortland Kelly, Looking for 24 on the one ounce. We've got 25 now from Troy Ounce. Looking to be a two-time winner. Troy Ounce is looking to be a two-time classified winner. Is classified the word I want to use? Nah, that's not the word I want to use. 
But 25 is the high bid. We're looking for 26, and we got it there from North Country. Too slow, my silver stack. We are looking for 27. Don't forget that shipping is free right out to your face. I mean, even on this Perth Mint coin. Let's see if we can get the camera to focus. I want you to look at the pig. Take a good, close look at this pig. You see how it's texturized on its belly? It's because pigs have hair, and the Perth Mint knows that. And they decided to put that detail in the coin, and that is so freaking cool. So right now, we've got 31 the high bid for the Perth Mint Lunar Pig Series 2. We are looking for 32. 32 is the bid now, looking for $32. Who wants to knock Troy Ounce off his high horse? He's looking to ride off into the sunset with two big winners. We've got 32 from North Country Off Grid. Looking for 33. Crisp number 33 will win you. <laughs> Harry Pigs, exactly. And there's four other little ones, which they indeed put the detail in the babies as well. Like, come on. These, like, come on. You can't mess with the Perth Mint, people. Hands down, the best in the game. 32 is the high bid. We are looking for 33. $33 going once. If you want the year of the pig, one ounce coin. <laughs> North Country trying to stake you all away. Yeah, they're ugly, he says. <laughs> I mean, pigs in general are just ugly. Good thing this one doesn't focus on the face, right? The face is pretty hideous. But look at that badonk donk right? Look at that badonk to donk with the curly Q tail. All right, boys and girls, we're coming to a close here. 32 is the high bid. 33, we're looking for going once. $33, going twice if you want it. Don't hold your breath. Now's your last chance. Troy Ounce, you still in the game, buddy? You got your last chance to come and get it for $32, or $33 is the high bid. Looking for $33. Ugly is the new beautiful. Well, then shit, Troy. If ugly is the new beautiful, I am a model over here. You know what I mean? <laughs> All right, North Country. I think you got it, my man. I'm going to have to close down the hammer. Going once. Going twice, last chance, all through, all sold. North Country Off Grid, you, sir, have won it for $32, and that shipping is included there, kind sir. You know the drill. Shoot me an email. Let me know where you want me to send it. Remind me, too, what you win, buddy, just so I you know, match my notes and stuff. It makes life a little bit easier for me. All right, so you are... North Country got a Perth Piggy. You got it for 32 is the bid. So 32. Today is the second. Uh, you want the sealed one. You want the one that's in the bag, right? Yeah, that's. I mean, that's what I was gonna send you anyway. Uh, you want this guy, right? North Country. Sealed up in the uh, Atmex baggie. Chris, you are way behind, kind sir. You might want to click that live button in the lower right-hand corner. That'll bring you current, and this way you can get in on that next auction when it pops off. Yep, that lag will get you. I try to give everybody plenty of time on that last uh, that last bid. So, all right, cool, North Country. You got it, man. You got it, buddy. All right, so now it's giveaway time. Now, now it's giveaway time. So let me get my bags here. Take a little sip of my beer. Who's drinking with me? Come on with it. Chris, buddy, you're behind, man. Chris, Chris, Chris. I'm sorry, buddy. When you catch up and you hear this, you're going to be like, son of a bitch. All you got to do, lower right-hand corner, right down in the bottom right there is going to be a live button. Just click that. My silver stack, $40, and it's yours. I don't get it. Do I have any uh, Year of the Horse coins? Yeah, I do. Uh, I know I have a Series 1 right here off the cuff. Give me a minute here. I'm pretty sure I have it in here. Maybe I don't. I know I've shown it on the channel before. Here's a Lunar Series 1 rabbit. It's a half ounce rabbit. Look at this one. You don't see these every day. These don't come out once in a blue moon. A 1999 Series 1, uh, excuse me, Lunar Rabbit in a cracked case. Jack Hansen, buddy. I wish I was with you, buddy. I ran out myself. Re-upping soon. Pigs are jerks. Yeah, pigs are jerks. Oh, well, well. I 
don't see my horse in here. Don't see the horse. Ugh. I don't have it right here. It's probably back in the uh, safe. So, I have to get PayPal and get on these auctions. You want to bid on a horse, Adam. Hey, Adam, I'll take some Bitcoin too, buddy. You got Bitcoin, Litecoin, Ethereum, any of those. I'll take them all. All right, uh, so we're doing a giveaway now. It's giveaway time. That's what we're doing. All right, we got our ABCs here, boys and girls. That's how we like to do it. If you're in the U.S., you can participate and play. If you're not in the U.S., I'm sorry. This one's not for you. All right, boys. Boys and girls. And just to let everybody know, you might have noticed I've been saying boys and girls a lot more instead of you guys because there's been a handful of females, a handful of women that come into the chat and get a little pissy because the figure of speech you guys upsets them so i'm trying to make everybody a little bit happy and then say you know guys and girls so that's why just thought i'd tell you I need to figure out how to set up a bitcoin wallet adam i got a video in my bitcoin playlist it'll walk you through step by step everything you need to do to get set up for it um, there's actually a link that's going to pop up down here you'll see it. it's, it's a shortcut link that'll give you some free bitcoin i think they give you ten dollars in free bitcoin if you use my link Don't get pissy, ladies. <laughs> Baby roof. Baby roof. Exactly, exactly. When I say, hey, you guys, it's a, it's a freaking, it's a, what's the, it's a, it's been said forever. Like, whatever. But yeah, use the link, Adam Farley. You'll see it scrolling on here, and it'll be in the video too. Uh, if you sign up for the Bitcoin, there it is, uh, the free Bitcoin link, bit.do forward slash easy Bitcoin. If you go to that website, you get yourself a Bitcoin wallet, and you're using my referral link, I get a little bit of bread, you get a little bit of bread. It's a win-win for everybody. Everybody knows how those works. So, all right, giveaway time. We've got our ABCs here. What you're going to have to do is use a word in a sentence. And the word that I want you to use in a sentence is going to be fresh. Use the word fresh in a sentence. Don't just say the word fresh. Make sure you use it in a sentence. Use the word fresh. We're gonna add you to the list, spin the wheel. Hopefully your name is picked and you can pick a prize. And I will enjoy my beverage. Sitting on top of Mount Kalish. His lungs have never felt so fresh. I am not so fresh. I want fresh Bitcoin. My kicks are fresh. Fresh is a mesh. I'm feeling fresh. I am the real fresh prince of Bel Air. That's the important question. This is a fresh way to give. I love fresh baby Ruths. <laughs> the prize I'm about to win is going to be so fresh. <laughs> the air is fresh and smells of rain. Ooh, that's a good smell. I love the show The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. I used to watch The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Downey makes my laundry smell so fresh. I like wearing freshly laundered clothes. <laughs> freshly is not the word. Fresh is the word. <laughs> Your mom is fresh. Your mom is fresh, Daniel. <laughs> the word of the day today is fresh. All right, boys and girls. I think I've given everybody enough time. So let's do the thing. We're going to switch on over. We're going to bring everything up here. Giving you guys a couple extra seconds to get your little ditties in. All right, let's switch to the browser. Let's copy everybody's name. Let's randomize everybody's name. Let's copy all these names again. Paste them into our little random name picker. Oops, this one over here. And there we go. All right. Let's throw down all the names. I see Miss North Country is still showing up on my list. All right. If you don't see your name on this list right here, 
now is your last chance to let me know so let's scroll on through let me know let me know let me know if you don't see your name last chance yes Ty you are allowed to win twice buddy there we go all right, everybody's name is there. Before we get going, just a reminder, all the giveaways that we do here on this channel, everything that I give back to you guys is a big thanks in part to all of you for supporting my channel. Those of you that make use of the super chat, which you see down in the little chat icon down there, those of you that make use of the super chat, you are my heroes. You are the reason why I'm able to give away all this fun stuff because of you guys making use of the super chat, I'm able to give away some cool stuff. All right, so we did miss some people here. Uh, it seems like I'm always missing the same people. All right, so Cortland Kelly, I got you in there. Ralph Ailman, I got you in there. Or Rafe Ailman. Silver Fox, I'm going to add you in there. Silver Nymph, I'm going to add you in there. Daniel Norris, how did I miss you? I'm going to add you in there. Brian Elliott, I didn't see you comment, Brian Elliott. Let's see, did you comment? Yeah, Brian, I don't see you comment, buddy. So you're not in. <laughs> nice try, though. <laughs> Come on, man. Silver Nymph, I got you added in there. Yep, I got you added in. Silver Fox. See, a lot of you people who are saying your name is not on there, that's because you didn't follow the rules. So I'm sorry. That's why you're not on the list, Brian Elliott, because you just got in. So those of you that are trying to pull a fast one, sorry. Um, that's just what it is. Um, we don't we don't play that stuff. Will Tuki Clever Coin is a cheat? Is he? How's that, North Country? Oh, that was the yeah. Clever Coin had won uh, three. Three giveaways in one night. That was craziness. All right. We got everybody's name on here. Uh, those of you that tried to pull a fast one over on me because of you, we are not looking through the list and adding anybody else anymore. So if your name's not on here, blame the person who tried to sneak in who shouldn't have been on here. Um, I just want to make sure. All right. So everybody's in. Cool. Here we go. Let's spin the wheel. Y'all know how it works. Winner picks A, B, or C. Here we go. Do, 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 do. Winner is Rafe Ailman. Rafe Ailman, congratulations. You are going to get to pick a bag, A, B, or C. All you got to do is let me know which one you want. Everybody else, help them out. Which one would you pick? Catch back up to the chat. Uh, I see B. Rafe is saying A. Got a lot of love for C, a lot of love for B. A looks fat. A lot of love for everything. All right, so A is what you picked, but we're going to start with C. How about that? How about we start with bag C? How many of you guys picked bag C? Let's find out what was inside bag C. This contained a clad silver dime. But fortunately for you, you did not pick the clad silver dime. You picked what's in bag A over there. So let's now find out what is in bag B. Bag B, somebody said looked bulky. So let's see what was in bag B. Can get it out. Bam. There we go. Bag B contained a one-tenth ounce uh, Walking Liberty coin. Well, it's a generic round. And a Buffalo Nick. But you did not win bag B because you picked bag A. So, Rafe, let's do it, man. Let's find out what you won in bag A. So, here we go. Open it up. Dumping it out. Come on. Let's reach in and grab it. Bam! Look at that shiny McShinysin. You won yourself a quarter ounce 
Standing Liberty generic silver piece fresh in the bag from at max check this out Rafe Congratulations, man. Uh, I'll ship this thing straight out to your eyelid But all you got to do is send me an email So I'm gonna give you my email address in the chat make sure you remind me where to send it because I Don't know where to send it There we go so Email me, remind me what you won and where you want me to send it, and I'll have this bad boy shipped straight out to your face hole. Easy enough. It's just that easy to win in the Monkey Spaz channel. Every Wednesday, 7 o'clock Eastern, I do this. This is the new year. The prizes are going to be a little bit cooler. They're going to be a little bit more badassery. I'm going to try to get at least a tenth of silver in every single prize. In every one of those bags, I'm going to try to make it to where there's a guarantee of at least a tenth ounce of silver in every giveaway. I can't promise that, but that's my aim for, for going forward in the next couple of weeks into the year. I want to give away as much stuff as possible. Those of you that are hanging out with me on the last year's live show, my aim is to give away an ounce of silver every single show. I'd love to do that, but for right now, we're going to start the focus on an ounce of silver a week. That's 52 ounces of silver. That's what I want to do. We'll see if we can do it. Am I back to my scheduled Wednesdays? Yes, I am, North Country. For the foreseeable future, I will be here every Wednesday, 7 o'clock Eastern, doing the giveaways, doing the auctions, doing the damn thing, right? Easy peasy. Now, I grabbed uh, a Series 1 Lunar Pig to show you, everybody that was in love with the Series 2 Lunar Pig, the difference here. So that's a Series 1 one ouncer and a Series 2 one ouncer. And you can tell, as far as sizes go, the Series 2 is slightly larger. They make them slightly thinner, but slightly larger. So um, there's just a quick look-see of the two Perth Mint Pig coins. David's out of here. See ya. What is the best coin to hunt for silver? I don't know what you mean by hunting for silver. I buy my silver. I don't search through rolls and hopes to find them. I already did the pig. The pig's been sold. We sold the pig. We can do something like this. If you guys have any love for Scottsdale uh, exclusives. We've got a Scottsdale Death Stalker Scorpion coin. This is about as badass as it gets. This thing is still sealed in its original factory uh, cardboard thing. Johnny Stacks is out too. Peace out. Oh, the Series 1. Yeah, okay. <laughs> um, I don't know. Maybe we'd be done for the auctions today. I don't think we're going to have too much action on it. You guys tell me. You're my, uh, you're my barometer. What's up, Bella's Coin Hunt? How you doing? Good to see you. Good to see you. Ty's out of here. Got to go. Shoot me an email for the Rupal. You're awesome, man. I hope to see you next week. We'll be here 7 o'clock Eastern. But why don't we do that? Why don't we just wrap it up, guys? Y'all seem to be tuckered out. I'm a little tuckered out. I'm going to polish off this beer, take a nice hot shower. And if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see that I've got a lot of work cut out. I'm going to be ripping down some wallpaper, redoing a, a room, turning it into a game room. Lots of fun stuff lined up. Uh, let's see what's this. You had a scorpion for a pet. Oh my god. You want to raid Atmex when you get your tax return? <laughs> Brian Elliott wasn't trying to cheat. Just got on since you were live. You said, let me know if you're not on a list. So I said, me later. <laughs> no worries, buddy. It's all good. Um, all right. So yeah, we're out of here. I'll be back live next Wednesday, 7 o'clock Eastern. We're doing the damn thing. And uh, hope to see you all then. That's it. Peace out, everybody. Have a good night.